That you get to join us. It's week four. Come on, of come on, come on, come on. It's the the takeout. Take out with Kev the Rev <laughs> and with Angie Pasanji. Come on, Pasanji. I'm so glad that you get to be with us on this week four of sharing the word, digging into the word a little bit more, and just coming out with specific takeouts. Come on. So we're gonna uh, share some thoughts about what you can look forward to this week. Um, you know, as we go through Matthew. Yes, and we are rolling all the way from chapter 15, verse 21, all the way to chapter 19. I love Love it. Yeah. It's been a good week. It's been an amazing... This, this week is going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. First of all, it starts off with an amazing woman. I know. <laughs> She's called the Syrophoenician woman or the Canaanite woman. Mm. She comes to Jesus the request. Her, her daughter is demon possessed. So mm. She comes to Jesus and says, hey, son of David, help my daughter. Jesus Z just keeps quiet. He's like nonsense. The woman doesn't like Jesus doesn't say nothing. Nothing. The woman is like she goes to disturb the disciples. Oh wow. So the disciples are the ones who come to Jesus and say, Yo, master, just answer her so that she goes. Yeah. Like she's wearing us out. Wow. So Jesus says, uh, I was sent to the lost children of Israel. It's not for me, uh, it's not for, for, for the lost children of Israel. And then actually a very interesting one says, um, yes, I was sent only to the lordship of, of the house of Israel. But she knelt down before him saying, Lord, help me. Wow. Pastor Angie, I need you to notice something. Mm. At first, she says, Son of David, Son have of mercy. David. Mm. Now, it's still a big deal. Because Jesus, as, as a, as a Canaanite woman, David is this person who was annihilating the Canaanites. Imagine, there. yeah. Uh, but she recognizes that Jesus is the son of, of this David. person who held dominion oh, and wow. kingdom. Wow. So she's put him at the person who was ruling kingdom dominion wow, wow. you're that person's son mm. but just keeps quiet and so she goes around she's like help me help me with the disciples when she has this conversation with jesus jesus has moved from son of david hey, to lord hey, oh come on lord, somebody have mercy help he's me. not just son of david son of a kingdom mm. He's my he's lord. lord my lord wow but jesus still makes it a bit harder for her and so uh, he says, um, he answered, it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she still accepts the position of a dog. She says, yes, yes Lord, Lord, even the dog eats the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Hey. She says, Lord, I know the children have had a full meal. Mm. The crumbs is not part of their mm. meal. But for me, crumbs are a full meal. That's oh, what come I on. need. Come on. She was hungry enough to say, even the crumbs will I be a full need. meal. Wow. I don't know whether we are hungry enough for God's word, not. that even a verse is a full meal. Hey. You know, sometimes we go for, to church mm. and we leave church, as mm. I said last week, for mm. less reasons. Mm. But someone who's hungry, the music team will sing badly, yeah. but the crumbs will be a full meal Imagine. for someone. The pastor will preach off, mm. but the, the crumbs that the pastor gives will mm. be a full meal for mm. someone. Are you hungry enough? Are you hungry? That crumbs become a full meal. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Stay hungry. Come on. Oh, stay mm, hungry. Stay hungry. <laughs> stay hungry. This is, it. just, it's so emotive, like, mm. to say, am I that desperate? Am I that hungry? Have I become so used mm. uh, to to God speaking, God moving, that I'm not, that I'm not hungry? Come I'm on. not as desperate. I'm not saying, Lord, son of David, addressing him by his name. Yes. That I'm not saying, my Lord, my, my king. Yeah. I, I need you, even crumbs. Yeah. What I love is that he answered her. Come on. So it does, it, your situation, your pain, God can answer you. Yes, and one of the things that allows us to stay hungry, one of the, one of the things that makes us to stay curious is to actually have questions. Mm. And a lot of this week, you're going to see many people who come to Jesus yeah. with questions. Yeah. They, they are curious. They, mm. are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are like, want to know deeper. They want to lean in. And so one of the ways you stay hungry is, you know, uh, gut questions. Mm. You got questions. <laughs> Jesus is able to take your question. He's not turned off by your question. He's, he's able to allow you to ask it and he answers you. Uh, and there are different people who come here with questions. The difference is what you do with the answer. Yeah. The Pharisees come and say, okay, give us a sign. Yay. None will be given. Mm, apart from the sign mm, of Jonah. Mm. <laughs> what do you do with that? Um, uh, uh, Peter. Mm. Uh, Jesus himself has questions to whet your appetite to ask questions. Who do you say I am? Yes. Yeah, what do you think about <laughs> that story of Peter, by the way? I love it because I feel like... Um, Number one, okay, it's I don't know if I'd have remained. Mm. Um, so we've been walking with Jesus, we're boys, we're having a good time. And it says, Who do you say that I am? And the guy is like, um, 
He, you know, he gives this prophetic word. You know, you're the son. This is what you're the Messiah. Yeah, son and of the living son God. Son of the living God. Mm. And then, um, you know, Jesus replies and says, "A flesh and blood not mm. reveal it to you." Mm. Then he gives a prophetic thing about mm. him dying, and then it's like, "No," mm. that he says, "Get thee behind me, Satan." Yes. And I'll be like, "You just affirmed me. I know. <laughs> then you've hot slapped me at the same time." Yeah. I don't know if I'd have remained. I wow. think there's a there's a level of love and trust mm. that made Peter remain. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I don't know whether for you it's I don't know whether you you'd have remained. For me, it's I don't know whether I would have told Peter. Hey. You see, uh, we have different kind of leaders, and maybe this is for you as a leader to you know see yourself in, in your DG, in your church, in whatever. Many times we can see someone walking under the influence of the devil, but we, we don't call it out. Oh wow! Yeah, we we, we have no we 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 are fathers who don't love our children, and therefore we never call it out. For me, to be honest, if I was with Jesus as Peter, I mean with Jesus um, and Peter is my boy, I don't think God would have said, "Get thee behind me, mm. Satan," and and maybe oh, maybe Satan is you know a strong one. I don't even think I would have said, "Get thee behind me." Because I just affirmed the guy. I just told him, bro, like, you know, you were you yeah. picked down on this confession or whatever. I don't know. And the, and the reason Jesus said that is this guy is speaking against the very thing mm. that God has asked me to do. True. And God, God sent me to die. Mm. And so, yeah, it's a sad thing, but you cannot stand in the way of that. True. And so, you know, when he was telling him, get the baby, it was like, the mission may I must achieve. He, Jesus was being faithful to the mission. Yeah. And so people around you, because we love you, yeah. we love you, Kev. Mm. We know come we love on, you. Come on, Pastor Angie. Now I come and I tell you, we have to save you. Mm. Do you the, the courage it takes to tell someone, we're not going that way mm. because the one thing I must do is this. Wow. Um, and I and you're right. I don't know if as leaders we have the courage, we have the fortitude, we have the boldness to say, I must achieve that mission. So, mm. so let me correct you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And there's something very interesting that happens here because Peter makes the confession, you are Christ, son of the living God. So there's this clarity they have on who Jesus is. And the Bible says from verse 21, from that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed on the that day be raised. Mm. Jesus does not show them that he's going to die mm. until they come to the conviction that mm. he's the life. Mm. Mm. He's the son of the living God. God. So it's until they understood he's the son of the living God that he began to show them that he must die oh, and wow. live again. Wow. Wow. So when Peter comes in contrast mm. with this conviction, that's why he says, get thee behind me, Satan. Satan. You're yeah. not, you, for you have been playing the things so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know whether we have come to that conviction that he's the son of the living God. And therefore, you can be able to trust him even when things seem to be dying around us. Have you come to that conviction? Come on. Yeah. Have you come to that conviction? Yeah. It's story time. And so you tell anything that comes against that conviction, get thee behind, behind me, Satan. Satan. Yeah. If it's a job, get, get thee behind, behind me, Satan. Satan. If it's a sponsor, get thee behind me, Satan. Yeah. You're coming in the way of the conviction that I'm serving the son of the living God. That's right. Mm. I love that that Jesus welcomes all our questions. Oh, that on. Jesus is not afraid of mm. our of our situation or the way we feel we have to be cleaned up and present. He's like, mm. I'm ready to deal with it. Come on. Come with that conviction. Come on. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. So, very interesting th this week. The story of the transfiguration is there. <laughs> yeah, I love <laughs> you it. You have a very interesting um, outlook on that because Jesus just said, telling the guys, I'm going to die, I'm going to go through this. But then he gets introduced to two other guys. Uh, tell us a bit about that. So he he's introduced to uh, Elijah and, and he's Moses. introduced to Moses, and they come and they're and they're having the time. And then um, which part do you want me to talk about? Moses, the likeness. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so now, um, what I love about. Moses coming and Elijah coming is I feel like in the beginning of the study, I think we watched a video where we saw the likeness of Moses and Jesus. Yeah. And we saw how, you know, they had lived the same thing when Jesus was born, uh, people died. And when Moses was born, uh, people died as well. Yeah. And so imagine the comfort for for Jesus being able to sit with a, a brother who had lived similarly. I mean, it's like, you know, when your father sends you a gift like that. Mm. So for me, I see the gift of the father saying, let me comfort my son. Oh, come on. And so they sit and they they talk. That mm. uh, they sit and stand in my mind. They sit and stand and talk for some time. <laughs> and there's comfort. It's like, you lived through that? Mm. Uh, how was it like being the only eligible partner of your yeah. time? And the guy's like, imagine the mamas. Yeah. That's why for Moses, <laughs> 
People are upset when he married. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. They're like, dude, dude, you're the only guy in your generation. <laughs> so they were quite upset. Uh, but there was comfort for that. <laughs> imagine it's so random, but I'm like, imagine there was comfort. I know. Uh, yeah. Even Elijah telling Jesus, yo, I am the only one who stood for mm, the right thing, thing in my time. Imagine, you can do you this. You can do it. Even if you're the only one at Calvary, mm. it's worth it because you can see my example. Exactly. At Come exactly wow. and so there's just uh, there's um there's such comfort at that mm. space mm. i mean and then Ani asked a question master do you build this is awesome do you build a, a tent for you and for like, they, 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 like they, he's so you. excited first of all i'm like peter why are you building three tents <laughs> 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 oh. I know, that's so but the Bible says when the words are still in his mouth, mm. the Lord spoke and mm. said, this is my son. In whom um, I'm well pleased. In whom I'm well pleased, listen to him. And all that tells me, I mean, this is um, this is my percep- perspective into it, my takeout in it, that God interrupts Peter because he's sort of telling Peter, 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 mm. stop thinking that Jesus, Moses, and Elijah are on the same, same level. No. So that you want to build the same tents for mm. them. This is my son. Listen to him. He's above Moses. Yeah. He's above Peter. This is my, this is this is not my servant Moses and my servant Elijah. Mm. This is my son. This and my then he says, son. Listen to listen him. Listen to him. I think I think God is affirming Jesus' mission on earth. There are three times when God's audible voice is, is heard in the New Testament. All of them have to deal with death. Mm. Oof. Imagine when Jesus is being baptized at the mm. at, 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 at um. Jordan, mm. the God's audible voice is heard. But what is baptism? Dying mm. with Christ That's and right. rising Jesus. up with Christ. Mm. At this point, transfiguration, they were coming to encourage him mm. to go through with the death at, Cal- at Calvary. Right. Later on, there's another space yeah. where now Jesus speaks about the cross and says, mm. unless a candle of wheat dies, mm. it, it abides alone. And so many times, uh, 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 you want to hear God's voice? <laughs> Allow <laughs> things to die within you. That's right. Oh my. Go through the death, oh, man. Oh, wow. Those who keep their life will mm. lose it. Mm. It's those who live their life that <laughs> hear God's voice, but also that find it. That's right. Come on. That's right. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I love this scene. It's it's mm. just um, and I like the the questions that come mm. with it. Um, and God is not afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's story time, and he's, he's he's telling us these stories to to not for us to not be afraid to approach him. True. And to encourage us. Yeah. yeah. They come down from the mountain. They find this young boy mm. who's possessed by a demon, and the father is there wondering. The, the disciples who are mm. left behind are not able to save him, and and the father comes with a question to the to the, with Jesus and says, "Lord, have mercy on my son, for he has seizures that suffer. He suffers terribly, for they often falls in the fire mm. and often into water, and have brought him that your disciples can uh, could could not heal him." Look at what Jesus says, and Jesus answered. Oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him, him to, to me. me. Ah! Mm. Bring your problem to me. Bring your anxiety. Yeah. Bring your question. Yeah. Bring your situation. Bring that thing to me. To me. And I will deal with oh, it. Oh, come on. That which others have, have found difficult. Mm. That which others have been defeated come by. On. He says, bring it to me. Mm. And I love Jesus for that. He's so compassionate and he's ready to deal with the mess of our world. Wow. He's not afraid of it. Come bring on. your questions. Bring it and I'll bring healing into that situation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Amazing story. And, and he says, uh, I think this is why he says, uh, this comes out by... Uh, there, there are some mm. things that are dealt with by prayer, but this comes out by prayer and fasting. And we're in a season of prayer and oh, fasting. Come on, there are come some on. things that will be dealt with only by prayer and fasting. True. And they're going to be dealt with in the next few Amen. weeks. Yeah. Amen. God is going to bring deliverance to Amen. us. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Not just us, our children as well. Exactly. Bring Generational things. Mm. He's able. He's able to do that. Wow. Yeah. Questions are coming. Questions are coming Jesus' way. Who's the greatest? Yes. <laughs> Chapter 18. Yeah, who's the greatest? He, <laughs> questions come to him and he's, he, he answers them. Yeah. Uh, he, there's, there's questions to do with sin. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, how long, how many times will I forgive somebody? Mm. Somebody comes with that question. Yeah. Another person comes and says, uh, you know, about divorce. Is it lawful to divorce? Mm-hmm. Uh, questions keep coming. Yeah. And Jesus is like, listen, the, he, I love how he addresses the issue here because he says, it's not so much, um, his 
he's like, your questions are great, but it, it, it's mostly about your heart. Yeah. He says, there are situations you've gone through. There's, there are circumstances, life things that have made your heart hard. Mm. And he says, it, it the, down at the bottom of it, the, the reason you're nervous about that situation, the reason you're afraid to bring that thing to church is because life has made you hard. Mm. And God is saying, bring it to me and because I, I want to break that heart, heart of uh, stone. Wow. I want to, to ease you know, your life situation because, you know, it's not a black and white thing for just leave your husband or don't forgive, forgive because it's messy. Life mm. is messy. Yeah. He says, but if I am able to deal with you, well, you with as the an questions angel, you the have. questions you have, yeah. and I'm not afraid of it, and you surrender to me, mm. all these other things will be sorted. True. True. And, and and he ends, like you, you mentioned, that he ends with children. Mm. He says, bring the children to me. Yeah. He wants us to have that childlike faith oh, where we can come to him and ask, Papa, what about this? Papa, yeah. what about that? And he's saying, come to me with that childlike faith mm. because that's when you're able to grow. Come like that woman, the Canaanite mm. woman, woman. Yeah. hungry even for the crumbs and desperate mm. because you're desperate for healing True. for that situation. He says, I will bring healing to your marriage. I'll bring forgiveness in that family situation. I'll bring reconciliation to you. But come, come, come. come. On, yeah. Come you know, I like that you end with children because children have many questions, mm. but they enjoy a lot. Yes. In spite of the questions. Mm. Like, they actually don't know how a car works. You know, how, how, mm. how, yeah, of all these questions, like half the time my son is asking, Dad, how, Dad, how, Dad? Like all these questions. But in spite of the questions and in spite of the answers I give, he enjoys mm. a lot. He doesn't care where the bread came from. Mm. He may ask, what, what, what makes bread? Yeah. I'm like, son, we don't even have bread in the <laughs> house. But he's enjoying, he's free. Mm. And I think the more we take our questions to Jesus, the more we get our answers from him, let's not remain at that level of questions. Let's yeah. not start enjoying the freedom. Exactly, exactly. That comes with that. That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Enjoy the freedom that comes. In fact, that's maybe that's the next step, mm. to enjoy the freedom. Yes. To enjoy the process of receiving your healing. Come on. Yeah. 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 And God yeah. will take you through that. True, Yeah. true. I love true. it. I love it. So, Pasanji, can you pray for people here who have questions? And the mm. questions are many. You know, maybe there's someone who started reading the one year Bible with us and questions are coming up mm. left, right and center. How do I, how do I? And and to have the heart, take the questions to Jesus. Bring it to me. Come on. Mm. Bring it, Bring to, it me. to me. I'm able to deal with it. I'm able, can you pray for people who have questions mm. Mm. and just pray that as uh, we can also be in a state to not just hear God's answers, but start enjoying the freedom that comes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Let's pray. Mm. Father, thank you so much for that. We are week four into this study. Then as we go into this week, I pray for people who have had life situations, difficult situations that have uh, birthed in them pain, have caused um, questions in them. I pray for courage and boldness to come to you, Father, to come to your throne and ask. I pray in the name of Jesus that this week you will dispense healing. Mm. I pray this week you will dispense answers. I thank you because the way you speak is through your word, through visions, through dreams, through prophets. I pray that this week you will send forth answers through divine conversations in their DGs or those they are studying with, that your word will resolve things in their spirit, that you will lead them into spaces where they will have a divine encounter. For those that need dreams and visions, I pray that this week you will do it. We wait with expectation because you did it. You will still do it in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Amen. That's it for today, guys. We have questions. Ask them in your DG when you ask Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you speak through those people. But this is a takeout. Recommend the channel to different people. Subscribe to the channel. Every Monday is going to be your plug. That's it for today. See you. God bless. All right.